Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio tutorial that will show you how you can create realistic rain for your Roblox game. To do that, we're going to use plugins. So when you're in your kind of level, check out this tab right here, plugins. And once you get here, you can go to manage plugins and here under plugin management, you can add this button and it's going to open up the toolbox here. You can close it now. And here you can simply search under plugins, which is presently located and go for rain. You can choose, there are a bunch of plugins that can be used here, but the easiest way is just to check out the rain plugin by Bill Thomas. I'm going to use it. As you can see, it has a 90% rating and over 2000 votes. That's a lot of votes and go buy for free. Once you do that, you can close the toolbox or kind of minimize it. And under plugins, you'll have the editor right here. It's called rain. And then when you click on it, you'll get this option of kind of moving the same editor, but we can keep it here and keep it basically on the side. And the thing that you want to do is to go for enable. Do you want to allow plugin to manage scripts in your game? You go for allow and preview active. Once you do that, you'll have the rain set. As you can see, there is a bunch of things going on. You have the particles themselves, but you also have this splash effect that can be kind of edited. And the same goes for range of other options that you can change. The first of one is of course color that you can kind of set up to a different state. Then you have your direction, intensity. We can then turn down the intensity as you can see. It's going down. You have the light emission, light influence, speed. We can also get this to a lower point. Transparency, if we want to go for one or full transparency, the effect will be gone. So we can put it to something like this and other options that you can then edit, including collisions. So let's try it out in the game and see how it looks like if we go back and go for play. We're going to enter the level and here we are. We have everything, including the rain effect. Not sure if you can hear it under the music, but there it is. The rain effect is active and we can move about and check out the same effect, edit it, move it, modify it, do whatever we want through the use of the same plugin. Again, it's located. It's going to be located under your plugins where you can then tweak it, change it, modify it anywhere you like and in any shape and form. That's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, please check out a way to support my channel. The simplest, easiest, fastest is to just to subscribe and be here for my new clips. You can check out my other Roblox clips. Of course, they have other options of my support on your disposal, including my Patreon page, including my channel memberships and my books on Amazon. But of course, easiest, cheapest, is the, just to subscribe, leave a like on this video and be here for my new clips. That's all for me. Thanks a lot for watching. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, bye bye.